Back in grammar school when I was younger, I would usually bring in cupcakes for my birthday. My mom and I would bake them the night before and I'd be really excited to share them with the class. But then one day in sixth grade, everything changed. As I get out of my car, cupcakes in hand, I noticed that another kid in my class named Trevor also had a big bag of birthday treats. Now, I'm not really a competitive person, but if it's my birthday, it's not yours. <laughs> so when it was birthday celebrating time, I had my homemade cupcakes looking good, nice, perfectly, nice sprinkles. And then Trevor took out what was in his bag. He pulled out these literally huge store-bought cupcakes that were probably bigger than my face. I didn't understand that because then my teacher told my classmates to have Trevor's first and then mine. I was livid. Standing by my cupcakes face redder than my sprinkles, I couldn't understand why no one wanted my homemade cupcakes, which actually tasted way better than Trevor's cupcake monstrosities. I left school that day a defeated and sad birthday boy. Now, while my story of the Great Cupcake Schism of 2008 may seem strange, it does have a point. In today's online video world, specifically YouTube, we have come to see that the time of videos coming from different channels and different people has gotten much less popular. Essentially, YouTube is now ruled by a bunch of Trevors and their big cupcakes, leaving out everyone else and their homemade cupcakes. And this is something that is a problem within the online video industry. YouTube was founded on the chance for anyone, the average individual, to be able to upload online content. Yet, it seems as though YouTube now has a group of stars and channels that they are clinging to and pushing to the users of the site. Like my teacher did, YouTube is advertising the bigger product, no matter if it's good or not. This leaves out a large number of users whose creative content that they worked so hard on will almost never be seen and appreciated because we're too busy watching some bigger-named YouTuber do an unboxing video of their new headband. We need to realize that just because someone has more impressive-looking cupcakes or has recognition and promotion on YouTube, that doesn't necessarily make them the best. Sometimes those that are homemade and have had hours of effort put into them may just be even more superior. Some unknown, everyday people put some really quality, entertaining, and knowledgeable videos online. So when you go home and travel to YouTube.com, stay away from the recommended and trending pages, grab yourself a cupcake, and explore. Thank you.